Okay folks, I'm in the middle of the forest but I have a camera with me and I would like to talk with you about personal app projects. I'm planning to start new app development and this could be an interesting topic for discussion, how to generate ideas for applications, how to do research and so on. I personally see two big reasons for personal app development. One is for portfolio and yeah, just to show your work and another one is business reasons to generate some money, so revenue on the app store. App development as a business, in my opinion, is the most complicated one, but yeah, we'll talk about that as well, how I think you can find ideas for business and do some research and so on. But my new project will be Swift UI application, mostly for learning purposes, but <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we will get, generate some money on that project as well. back from the woods. Even if you are building application for portfolio only and for personal reasons only, I still highly recommend to keep in mind some monetization for at least few reasons. Firstly, that is just really nice to have side revenue, some kind of passive revenue from application which you built few years ago. I have such kind of application in my portfolio and that's really nice. Secondly, if your application will have some serious, uh, more or less serious user base, they will be happy to receive updates. And if you will have revenue from this application, that will be just way more easy to justify time to invest in upgrades, bug fixes and so on. So, but how to generate app ideas which can generate revenue? <laughs> For disclosure, I am not an expert of course because I'm living mostly from consulting but I have few applications which are in the App Store and at least one of them generates few hundred euros per month so I can share what I know and you, you may see if it is useful for you. So, but what to do if you don't have any app idea in mind? I would suggest to check some, to find some small niches and build product for them. By small niches, whatever will work. Writers, uh, free divers, uh, freelance web developers, whatever. Smaller niche is better than very big group and audience because you can laser focus your attention on problems in this smaller niche and build specific product for this niche which will work really great for them. And also there is not so big competition and for smaller niche you can build small and nice product which will help to this auditory and you really do not need next Instagram or Facebook to have good revenue. Found where those smaller niches communicate, <laughs> where, the, where are the users from those niches, maybe those are subreddits, maybe Facebook groups and yeah, dig in and find what kind of problems they have. Smaller niches have smaller competition, big players are not interested to build products in them and that is very possible that there is no good product to solve problems what this small niche have and you can be one which can provide this product and build applications for them. If there already is an app which solves the problems for this niche, that is not a bad thing at all, that means that there is the market and uh, probably you can solve their problems better than already existing application. Take a look in App Store reviews to see what users are writing in feature requests or what compliance they have in one, two, three star reviews and yeah, communicate with those users, ask uh, what they like to see from product and so on and in this way you can find how to build product which will solve the problem for this grow. Okay, let me grab a tea.
Okay, that's ready. So, if you can find some warm niche for you, by warm, warm I mean a niche where you are already in, where you are the one of the users of that niche, that's perfect. Then it is, will be easier to build product for you because you understand that niche or group needs much better. And basically that is how I built my own apps. My most popular and still active freediving app was created to train myself to dive and stay under the water longer. Basically I, am cre I created application for my own needs and that works out for me quite well. When I started to build my application, there was already few similar applications in the market. And if you will find that there are already application which solves problem in the area which you are planning to solve, that is not bad. Basically, that means that there is the market and someone is willing to pay money for application. If you have idea for the application and there is no app for that, probably those are not so good news for you because maybe there is basically no market for such kind of application and no users or if there are users, they are not willing to pay for the application. In the next few weeks or maybe months, yeah, probably months, I am planning to build application. Application will be fasting timer. I'm using one right now, but I'm not really happy with it. And I would like to build my own version for few reasons. So first reason, I started to use uh, fasting timers and I didn't find any fasting timer up in the App Store, which I really like. I have some compliance for each and any of them, of course, because everyone is different and everyone have different needs. Secondly, if I will build my own application version for fasting timer, there will be many similar functionality which I can reuse for my free diving application because basically I have some kind of timers here as well. This uh, fasting timer I am planning to build it using Swift UI and yeah, that will be a really good chance to test in production my Swift UI code. Third reason, that will be just one more application in my portfolio. Currently I am working on quite long time contracts and basically my portfolio is not updated for a while and yeah, could be nice to have a new application here. Last but not least, revenue. <laughs> Probably we will get some revenue from this application as well. And uh, yeah, if you are looking to research market to potential revenue, I have one recommendation for you. So let me show you that is application. No, not application service sensor tower. That's marketing uh, tool. So you just can open uh, sensor tower and uh, enter app name. Let's search App Store first. Let's search for fasting. If I will search App Store for fasting applications, number one is zero. Uh, that is one which I am using right now. There are a few more, but that one is less annoying for me. Let's write it zero. Zero fasting. So here it is. So and what can we see? There is 100k downloads in December and 200 key dollars in revenue in December. So definitely <laughs> here is the market for one more fasting app and maybe a few more. So I am planning to build this application for all the mentioned and the reasons. If I will be able to slice at least small part of that 100k of revenue, that will be great. <laughs> We'll see how that will go, but yeah, revenue is the last one point in my reason lists why I am planning to build this application. So I will build that anyways. What functionality I am planning to include in my application, what, how I will design that, all the design and product design and user interface design decisions, that is topic for another video. If you want to see video about that, hit that <laughs> like button just to show me are you interested in that or not. And also, of course, hit that subscribe button to do not miss the video if I, that will come out. I will see if there is interest in such kind of content. I will share my progress with this app development. I will develop this application anyways, but 
If you will be interested, I will share all the process from this one decision making to build application until the release to the App Store, App Store optimization, <laughs> revenue sharing, all that stuff. So yeah, if you are interested in that, let me know. Comments, highly welcome to comment it and let me know what you think about that. And if you have any additional questions, of course, also. I'm trying to come back to each and every one comment to answer that in <laughs> comment section or in upcoming videos. Okay, we'll see how that project will go. For sure, I will share at least end stage of that project to share some release numbers and so on. But yeah, please let me know if you are interested to know more about process and if you like to see some kind of vlog style videos about this app development process. Okay, thank you for watching. See you on next one. Bye.